It's a great honor to welcome you back to Kangoka. My name is Chris Nikomana. I'm the host of this broadcast. Today is Wednesday and I want to discuss once again the importance of preparing your day in the morning. Last Wednesday, we discussed a very important topic and I was showing you that in everything you do, you shouldn't start anything unless I am is with you. We saw that Moses would say to God that unless his presence goes with them, they won't go anywhere. Even though God had already promised to be with them, he would insist on saying that they won't go anywhere unless God's presence is with them. I want you to say the same thing. Even since I understood these words of Moses, every morning I say to God that unless his presence is with me, I won't leave my home. I don't want to leave my home without speaking to I am. That's why I always have to make time for prayer. I always have to find time to speak to I am. You too shouldn't leave your home without speaking to I am. When you speak to I am, there is a spiritual connection between you and him and you are able to start your day with him. When you pray, the plans that Satan has prepared against you are destroyed. I am will still allow some problems in your life even though you've prepared your day through prayer but because you started your day with him he will give you the strength you need to go through those problems. Today I want to share with you a verse found in Romans chapter 8 verse 31. Paul says, What then shall we say to these things? If God is with us, who can be against us? I'm asking you the same question. If I am is with you, who can be against you? If you started your day with I am, whom shall you fear? Shall you fear men? If you know that you've started your day with I am, you shouldn't be afraid of anyone or anything. That's why I find it hard to understand that some people who already know this verse can still wake up and start their day without talking to I am. Even though they are believers, they are saved, they've confessed Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they still leave their home in the morning without praying. Let me tell you again that if you know God, you saved. You've accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. You are repented from your sins. You know the power of God. You know the power of darkness, which is the power of Satan. And you still wake up in the morning and you rush to start your day without spending any time in prayer. You just quickly eat breakfast and you rush to work. And it means that you still don't fully understand the world that we live in. Anyone who does this doesn't understand the world that we live in. Once you understand the world that we live in, you can just get out in the world without speaking to I am, you can get out without having a connection between your spirit and the spirit of God. If you don't start your day with prayer, it means that you don't understand that we live in a world that's full of darkness. You don't understand that there are many satanic activities that are happening while you sleep. Once you understand this, you will repeat the words of Moses and say, unless your presence goes with me, I won't go anywhere. I don't understand how I could leave my home without spending time with I am because he's the one who gives me strength I need for the day. It's him who enables me to start my day. It's him who enables me to do everything I do. I can't do anything unless I start my day with I am in the morning. That's why I love Romans chapter 8 verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? Let me tell you that if God is with you, no one can be against you. Satan may try to oppose you. Sorcerers may try to come against you. Satanists may try to attack you, but if I am is with you, all their plans will fail. That's why you shouldn't rely on your own strength, but you need the strength of I am. And you can only access his strength through prayer. Whether you are a servant of God or you are a Christian who works in a secular job, your strength will always come from prayer. Your strength will come from the relationship you have with I am. Your protection can only come from starting your day in prayer. You need to start your day with I am. Lift up all your activities to him and pull your eyes on him and tell him that you can't do anything on your own. Every morning I always ask God for wisdom. I ask him for humility. I ask him for a word that comes from him. I ask him to empower his angels. I ask him to go before me. Every day you should ask I am to go before you. You should ask him to send his angel before you. You should start your day with him every day.
now in the teaching portion of the broadcast and we're going to continue the teaching called the protocol of heaven today i want to pick up from where i left off yesterday i was telling you some very important words and i really hope that you understood what i said personally i found a lot of comfort in knowing that jesus prays for me and he speaks on my behalf to the father in the same way that the high priest used to go before god in the most holy place and he would bring the burdens of the people and the blood of their sacrifices jesus christ the high priest also goes before god to bring our prayers and our thanksgiving whenever i pray in the morning and i praise god i declare the names of god i speak out the glory of god i give thanks to him and i declare his grace and his goodness i always have the assurance that jesus brings all the words that i said before god It's Jesus who brings my prayers before God. This is very important because the word of God clearly shows that God always answers Jesus. I really love the words of Jesus in John chapter 11 verse 42. He was about to pray for the resurrection of Lazarus and he said something that I found very encouraging. Please read the verse carefully. Jesus said to God, I know that you always hear me. I really love this part. I know that you always hear me. Jesus himself is saying that God the Father always hears him. God the Father always answers the prayers of Jesus. So if you clearly know that Jesus is interceding for you and he's bringing your prayers before God, that's very encouraging because you know that God will answer all the prayers that Jesus brings before him. This is very important because the Bible clearly says that we don't know how to pray. Even if you feel with the Holy Spirit, the word of God says that the children of God don't know how to pray. We don't know how to pray because our flesh and our desires hinder our prayers. But Jesus knows exactly what to say when he brings your prayers before God. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 says that we don't know what we should pray for as we ought. Sometimes we make some requests to God and we assume that we are asking for good things but then we found out that we shouldn't have asked for those things. That's why we need someone who can intercede for us. It's also true that we generally need other people to pray for us. You've noticed that on Mondays I usually ask you to pray for me and the Kanguka team. I tell you that we need your prayers because I believe that you do pray in the name of Jesus. When you pray for us in the name of Jesus, Jesus brings those prayers before God the Father and we know that Jesus himself said in John chapter 11 verse 42 that God always answers his prayers. It means that when Jesus brings those prayers before God, he will get an answer. Definitely. It may not be the exact answer you are expecting but Jesus will fine tune your prayers and and make them perfect. Jesus brings prayers before God and he makes them perfect in the process. In the old days, the high priest will bring before God the sacrifices that he received from the priest and today Jesus brings the prayers that he received from you. Jesus can only bring the prayers that he received from you. He can bring something that you didn't give him. If he receives your prayers, he will bring them before God. If he receives your words of praise and thanksgiving, he will bring them before God. So let me ask you a question. What are you giving to Jesus. I'm speaking to those who don't pray. If you don't pray, he's not receiving anything from you. But if you pray in the name of Jesus with faith, your prayers will ascend before God. Jesus will bring it before God. The word of God says that the angels take our prayers and they bring them to Jesus Christ who is the high priest forever. He will never be replaced. And Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 says that he is able to save those who come to God through him. I have a question for all the listeners who do you go through when you pray which name do you use are you using some other name do you believe that there is some other name which is able to help you bring your prayers to god if you're using some other name you need to know that you are completely wrong i will say it again if you're using another name in order to bring your prayers before god you have totally missed the mark the word of god tells us about one name only and that's the name of jesus only jesus is able to bring your prayers prayers before God and you also need to understand that there is no other mediator between you and Jesus. There is no other name between you and Jesus. There is no other mediator. There should never be any other name between you and Jesus. You just need to pray to God the Father in the name of Jesus. There is only one name that's needed and that's the name of Jesus. You don't need any other name. We need to understand this so we can walk according to the truth of the word of God. These days there are people who 
invoke other names when they pray and this is contrary to the word of God. We need to remain faithful to the word of God which says in Acts chapter 4 verse 12 that there is no other name under heaven by which men can be saved other than the name of Jesus. May I am bless you. I wish you all a great day. God willing, we continue tomorrow. If you want to repent or you're transformed by these teachings, you can contact us by sharing your testimony in order to edify other listeners by contacting us on plus 256-781-377-337.